Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not a membrane keyboard is linear or tactile. So let's get right into it. So first off, what is a membrane keyboard? A membrane keyboard is a keyboard that does not have a lot of moving parts. When you think of a mechanical keyboard, you think of all the little keys having their own switches and all individual parts of the keyboard. But when it comes to mechanical keyboards, uh, all the keys are part of a long strand of pressure pads. So each key that you are pressing, is just you pressing down on those pressure pads. A phone keyboard can be compared to this because it works a lot in the similar ways, even though it's technically not a membrane keyboard. You're not pressing down any physical keys, but rather a sensor behind the screen. In the case of a membrane keyboard, the pressure pads under the keys can can be compared to as a sensor of some sort. Some sort. So what is a linear keyboard? A linear keyboard is a keyboard that has consistent keys. So no, no matter how hard or how light you push down on them, you will never meet more resistance on your keys. Uh, so to be really technical with it, it means that the amount of force required to push the key down increases linearly, hence linear keyboard. So your keyboard won't intentionally become harder to press, nor will you meet any increased resistance as you would with like a tactile keyboard. It also typically means that no matter how far you press the key down, it'll almost always be, uh, be registered by your computer. So like compare that to a mechanical keyboard where your keyboard, your computer won't register a key being pressed until the switch is flipped. Uh, on membrane keyboards, it's just any pressure at all. So, or linear keyboards, basically any pressure at all. So what is a tactile keyboard? A tactile keyboard is one that offers some resistance when you press a key down. If you have a keyboard that won't register your key press until say halfway down, it's most likely a tactile keyboard. What makes a keyboard tactile is a little speed bump. Uh, commonly, is, that's a little resistance commonly referred to on the way down on when you're pressing your key. And it'll help you know that the key has been pressed. The bump will typically be right before the point of actuation, which is when your key is actually pressed. So if you press the key down slowly and reach the bump and then stop, your computer won't register the key as being pressed at all. It is only after the bump that the key registers uh, as being pressed. Some people prefer this for the added feedback it gives, but some don't. One complaint that people have with touchscreen phones is that there isn't any feedback when you press the key. That's why Apple very cleverly designed a artificial tactile feel to the key presses on the new model of phones. So like when you have your ringer on and you're typing, you can feel the little bumps. That's the tactile, that's the artificial tactile that uh, Apple added. So here's the big question. Are membrane keyboards linear or tactical or tactile? <laughs> Since membrane keyboards are uh, all pressure pads, they are by default probably not tactile. There's no feedback given when they're pressed other than the letter appearing on the screen. This can be customized though. Membrane keyboards can be altered to give some sort of feedback while they're pressed be it some of the before mentioned artificial tactile speed bump or a little clicking noise. This can be done to many types of keyboards, even mechanicals. If you have a laptop keyboard, chances are it is a membrane one to save room in your laptop. But some keys will be made to feel more tactile. Commonly the space bar is a lot more, you can hear it's a lot louder, you can uh, feel when it's being pressed down because it gives your brain that little hint that you're moving on to the next word in your sentence. So which is better for gaming, linear or tactile? A linear keyboard is far better for gaming because you actually, because tactile keyboards will cause you to meet a point of resistance before the actual actuation point. This means that in very tense gaming moments, you have to press the key all the way down to register as being pressed. But what, while as if you had a linear keyboard, any pressure at all would press that. So if you're mashing your keys quickly in like a combo based game or you're, or you're building, or you're trying to run away, you're trying to do all these crazy, crazy tricks and stuff, uh, it'll get you killed. If one key doesn't register as being pressed down because you didn't press it down far enough, you are going to be in some trouble. So tactile keyboards can be great and they have a lot of advantages in many areas, but not for gaming. If you're planning on buying a tactical keyboard, a tactile keyboard for gaming, don't buy a linear one. Which is better for typing, linear or tactile? Many people prefer tactiles for typing because they like to feel when the key is being pressed. It gives them some sort of feedback. When you're typing 80 plus words a minute and a third of them are wrong, it's there's really no point. So tactile keyboards come in there because a common problem with typing on linear keyboards is that your hands are moving so fast that you accidentally press the right letters but in the wrong order. Uh, with a tactile keyboard, you feel that little bump and it gives your brain a little message thinking, oh, okay, so now it's time to move on to the next letter so you can keep typing in order. So yeah, so what's better overall? There's no better or worse when it comes to linear or tactile, only personal preference, unless you are gaming. In that case, I highly, 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 highly recommend you get a linear keyboard. If you've ever played an intense combo mashing game and thought to yourself, I'm sure I pressed this, these certain X, Y, Z in a row, but my ability never went off, it's probably because you didn't reach the actuation point, and you're a lot more likely to miss that if you have a tactile keyboard. 
So in conclusion, membrane keyboards are not tactile, but they can be modified to feel that way, similar to how touchscreen phones have their artificial tactile, even though it's just a screen. There's also software available that you can install to create a clicking sound whenever you type on the keyboard. Membrane keyboards are pretty great overall and can save you money. However, if you wanted a truly tactical keyboard, tactile keyboard, then you probably want a mechanical keyboard instead. So yeah, for more uh, articles, check out KeyboardKings.com. The link to this article will be in the description for below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.